Hey guys, Josh coming to you once again with another product review and today I'm not doing a pair of barefoot shoes but I'm doing a very related product and that is toe separators. And this one in particular is from a company called Yoga Body. I'll put an affiliate link down here below if you're interested. Please do click that link. It's a link to Amazon for this product that I purchased and it does kick me a few extra cents or whatever if you end up buying them. So I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Um, but that's totally unrelated to uh, my review of this product and unboxing, which I just received. It was just dropped off on my porch by Amazon a few minutes ago. And here it is. I just pulled it out of the envelope. This is the little cardboard box that comes in. And I've seen pictures of the uh, what's inside here already. So it's a nice wooden box. Let's see. Yoga body practices everything. Okay, it's a sweet little wooden box. Sliding top. Look at that. And there's a little card in here. It says Awesome Toes. So that's the name of the product. It's called uh, Yoga Body Naturals, the Awesome Toes product. It's got a little website on there. Uh, it says Start Here, and then it goes to that website. So I guess they give you some instruction. I've already watched a video on the Amazon uh, listing uh, where they gave some instruction. Basically, you're supposed to start. Oh, so first of all, let me start way back. When, what are toe separators? What the heck are they for? Um, okay, so. Most of us have worn uh, like more traditional type shoes, not barefoot shoes for uh, any number, a number, probably decades, most people that are watching this video. And over the course of doing that, you know, your feet have gotten used to being kind of cramped into this position, like a pointy shoe shape, right? Rather than being spread out naturally the way they should be. And so, or should I shake my foot? So you can see though, if you know, if you've been watching my channel, you know, I've been wearing barefoot shoes for, you know, around about a decade, give or take, uh, almost exclusively. And even still, I'm noticing that my last couple of toes, the smaller toes are still kind of munched together. Uh, mine's compounded by the fact that not only was I wearing traditional shoes for the first four decades of my life almost, um, I also, in earlier in my adulthood, wore shoes that were just plain too small, even in, in the traditional shoes. I remember when I was in the military, <laughs> I, when I started out in the military, I was wearing like size eight or eight and a half boot. By the time I got out, I think I may have graduated to a nine or a nine and a half, but I wear size 11 shoes. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I, I was, my, my, needless to say, my toes were jammed up. So they were really cramped together. And so even after wearing barefoot shoes for a decade, uh, I still have some, these shoes, these last couple toes are cramped together. So. Um, and that causes, not only is it not proper toe splay, which, you know, your toes should be splayed out kind of like your fingers, um, for stability. I mean, you think about it, what's more stable standing on something like this, that's rocky rocky or that's splayed out. Now, if you look at populations of people that have never worn shoes, their feet are splayed out, their toes are splayed and their feet have flattened out just like I've talked about in some other videos. And the reason is that's the way your feet are designed to function, but because we've jammed them into uh, unnatural shapes in shoes and they've gotten solely deformed to that, you can end up with sort, all sorts of problems. Now, thankfully, I didn't have the uh, extreme problems like bunions, which is where your big toe gets bent inward to fit into that shape, the pointy shoe shape, or there's another one, Alex says, says, says something Latin. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can have a lot of foot problems from this. So even though I've been wearing barefoot shoes, I still, you know, I've noticed my first, you know, my big toe, my next toe, maybe even my middle toe, they're kind of splayed out a little bit better than they used to be. But those last couple toes, man, uh, while I didn't have those serious problems, I have in between there, way down in the crack, gotten like uh, skin problems and, and, and in the next toe a couple, more than uh, several times over my adulthood. But actually in the last, I don't know, two or three years, I don't think I've had it at all. Um, so I think that's a testimony already to just wearing barefoot shoes, but I want to take it a step further and get those last couple toes spread out properly. Um, so I bought some toe separators. So that's what they're for. There's a couple different products out there, several different, act actually, there's a more expensive one. Everybody knows called correct toes. Those are like 70 bucks or something. The ones I picked up here, these, uh, yoga body ones around 17, 18 bucks on Amazon. So it's not the cheapest one. I've saw them as cheap as like $7, $10 up and up 25, 30, you know, and so on. There's a whole scale of them. I just, uh, I read some reviews of these 
from people that I already, uh, you know, trust on other products. And so they gave a positive review of these. I decided to try them. So for 17 bucks and, oh, a bonus for those of you that have jobs with, uh, you know, health benefits and things and you have an HSA or FSA card or a flexible spending account or health spending account, these guys qualify on Amazon. So you can use your HSAs to pay the 17 bucks if you want to just uh, pay out of, off your regular debit card. So anyway, inside the box, you got this little bag, little drawstring bag. And these come with two sets of the toe separators. One is smaller, one is larger, so you can find which one fits you better. Uh, here's the smaller one, here's the bigger one. So you can see there's a little difference there. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do the larger ones uh, just because I have wider than normal feet, but uh, I'll play with them a little here off camera and uh, see which one makes the most sense, but I'll let you see me put them on my feet. They are made of silicone, so they stretch, they're squishy, they feel kind of like, um, semi-sturdier gummy bears is what, <laughs> what they feel like. Uh, you can see they squash and spread nicely to kind of fit, but that, that part in between the toes uh, is a little bit stiffer to, but it's still squishy. It's not gonna feel uncomfortable, I'm sure. Um, and these are active ones. So there are different types of so toe separators. These are designed for being active. In other words, you can wear these while you walk around, put on shoes if you can find shoes that fit. Uh, while you have these on and your toes are spread out depending on the size of your foot and the shoes that you're wearing um but there are other sorts that are more stiff and they're not designed to be while you're being active doing yoga walking etc um, they're just designed to be like sitting on the couch or laying in bed and they just spread your toes out and that's it these guys are are active ones so that's another reason i selected these in, in, in that regard they're very much like the Super expensive, more more expensive, correct toes, $70, I mean. So, hey, uh, you know, I don't know the difference between this and the correct toes. I don't have correct toes, uh, but we'll try them. I'm going to try these guys on. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and slip them on so you can see. So, just take that little loop, stick it on there, and then the next one, and then the next one. So, very easy to put on, and uh, not a big deal. No uh, special skills or videos you need to watch to put these on but i've almost got them on already my little weird couple toes there that are jammed up uh, are the only ones that are i have to like put any effort in there now i'm going to show you my other foot oh sorry i got some junk on there from the floor but you see how those last little piggies are like just balled up and jammed together you can kind of see them there uh, they they mash together and because there's no air in between there, you know, like I said a couple years ago I was still having some skin problems in there, but I just want them to splay out a little bit more You see my I know this is a weird angle, but you can see the gap between my big toe and the next toe And if I spread like that you can see the, the next gap But my other little piggies are just kind of jammed together and that poor little Pinky is just mashed into the other one and it's like it's either taking on the shape of the ring toe or the ring toe took on the shape of the pink toe. I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg, but I want those to splay out a little bit more for some additional stability and foot health. So now I got this guy on. I'm picking up some little fuzz balls and things from my floor, <laughs> but as you can see, that's what it looks like. And just wiggling my feet feels great. You're supposed to start, they say, about 30 minutes the first day and then gradually extend that period of time. Uh, according to your level of comfort. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them on here for 30 minutes, let you know how it goes, and so I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've actually had these on my feet for like 45 minutes or so. Um, I I kind of forgot they were on, to be honest with you. I, I was working on the computer behind me, and you know, I work from home, and so I got into working and kind of forgot they were on my toes. And they're, so they're very comfortable. Um, they do fit with my slippers on which I can flip around, see? So inside there, I got my correct toes. I mean, uh, sorry, my yoga body, uh, awesome toes. So, and I did go try on some shoes because uh, some people can wear these in their shoes. But as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I have pretty darn wide feet, extra wide feet. And even with the widest of the wide barefoot shoes, the Bilancas, the Bohempias, the, um, gosh, which other ones did I try just now? I forget, I tried like three or four different pairs of shoes upstairs with these on. All of them, my pinky was against 
uncomfortably against the outside edge of the shoe. Now that may not be your case. You may have normal feet or more narrow feet than mine. And if you have normal or narrow feet and you buy wide shoes, you should have room. I know I, I read tons of people that wear these things in shoes. I just, uh, it's not looking like I can. The only one that I didn't try that I should have would have been my soft, soft star primals. So actually I'm gonna go try those real quick just to tell you how it goes. All right, so I'm glad I did that. I just went and put my soft star primal Sawyers on and that is the one pair of shoes. I can still feel my pinky on the outside edge of the shoe, make no mistake, and it's more than it should be ordinarily, but because that material is so thin, soft, and flexible, uh, it wasn't a huge deal. If I had to wear shoes with these awesome toes on, I would choose those. But I tried Splays, I tried uh, Bohempias, I tried Bilenkas. These are all the widest uh, barefoot shoe brands out there. And for me personally, I couldn't comfortably do it. But, but I know a lot of you out there can, so be uh, aware that you can if you have normal feet. <laughs> So anyway, that's, I think that's my review. Um, I've had them on for a while. Like I said, they're very comfortable. I, I, I mean, I, I actually feel no uh, inclination to even take them off right now. Um, so they said start with a half an hour and go from there, but I mean, they're, they're comfy to me. And I have the bigger of the two pair on, just so you know which ones I put on. Uh, number two, the bigger one. Um, so I have an extra pair here. Maybe my, my wife will want to try them or something. I don't know. Um, but that's my review. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notifications for those of you that don't know. Uh, and you're into barefoot shoes, you know they cost a lot of money. If you want to know about hot sales that come up and things like that, that's why you want to do the notification bell and the subscription and everything like that so that when I come out with a flash video about sales, you're going to be the first to find out if you get the notifications, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have some more shoe reviews coming up soon. I'm waiting on a pair of shoes to come from Europe right now, uh, and that one's taking a little while. And I have another shoe review that I'm about to post, so stay tuned. Uh, I appreciate you coming. Talk to you soon.